Welcome to Analyst Notebook 8, the richest assisted analysis and visualization environment that supports analysts in quickly turning large sets of disparate information into high quality and actionable intelligence to prevent crime and terrorism. Today we'll give you an overview of some of the new capabilities that have been delivered with Analyst Notebook 8 and the latest release Analyst Notebook 8.5. The following demo follows the analysis of individuals from a known criminal organization who are suspected of involvement in a car bombing. This chart shows David G and some information we have on him already, including one of his associates, George M. These two are known key individuals in the criminal organization suspected of the car bombing. One of the first things we'll show is the new high quality icons that have been delivered with Analyst Notebook 8.5. This new extensive icon set provides users with the tools required to create clear and concise charts for both analysis and briefing purposes, while still giving users the ability to create and view charts with the new icons or the legacy icon set. When we zoom into the chart, we see no loss of quality of the icon. If we go back to the legacy icons, we can now clearly see the difference in quality between the two. If we now go back to the new icon set, we can see some of the examples of these new icons, including a telephone, a car, and a count. With the new icons, we still have the same capabilities as before in terms of icon shading. For example, we have new information that the car associated with David G is in fact red. We also have now received new information in the form of recent photographs of both David G and a known associate, George M. With Analyst Notebook 8.5, we can now easily add pictures directly onto an entity. Going to the chart item properties, we can now select the new picture dialog that allows us to select an image and resize either to a custom size or using one of the standard analyst notebook enlargement factors. Once on the chart, we can also resize the picture directly on the chart surface. Another key new capability is the ability to drag and drop an image directly onto an icon. This further reduces the time to incorporate images into an analyst notebook chart. Analyst Notebook 8.5 now allows the use of pictures directly on theme line icons and event frames. Our timeline chart here shows the activity of David G prior to the car bombing, including the meeting with an unknown individual and the subsequent car bombing with a car that has been previously linked to David G. We believe that this was a meeting to hand over the vehicle to the unknown individual who then drove the vehicle to the location of the explosion. First, we can display David G's photo on the theme line icon. We also have CCTV footage of both the meeting and the car moments before the explosion. This emphasises how this new capability can enhance presentation on briefing charts. We are now going to look in more detail at David G and his known associates and close network. We are interested in finding individuals who are known members of the criminal organisation suspected of the car bombing. Using the dynamic filtering capability in Analyst Notebook, we are able to instantly obtain statistical summaries of the information in our chart. For example, we are interested in understanding who from this network has a weapons warning against them. Selecting the yes row in our weapons warning list filter, we instantly see the individuals of interest. We can now use the new icon frames in Analyst Notebook to help highlight the entities of interest on our chart. This is particularly useful when using charts for briefing or reporting purposes. We now would like to find who from this network is a confirmed gang member of the organisation we believe to be involved in the car bombing. Again, we select the information of interest from the list filter. Icon frames are configurable per icon, so for example, we can use several different coloured frames to highlight different aspects within our data. We will select a different colour to emphasise the confirmed gang members in our chart. 
As you now see the entities of interest we have identified via the dynamic filtering capability are now clearly highlighted on the chart with the icon frames. Moving forward, we are going to concentrate on the individuals who are known members of our suspect network. Following further analysis, we have identified a wider network of contacts connected to our suspects. We are now going to use the social network analysis capabilities in Analyst Notebook to help identify potential key individuals within our wider network. Social Network Analysis, SNA, allows users to explore group dynamics within a network chart by focusing on the relationships that exist between entities. Identifying these key entities and how information may flow for a network can be quickly achieved using standard SNA centrality measures. We will now run the social network analysis capabilities in Analyst Notebook via the SNA task pane. Analyst Notebook includes key SNA centrality measures such as betweenness, which identifies entities who may act as gatekeepers or bridges of information and may control information flow through different parts of a network. Closeness identifies entities who may have the best access to other parts of a network and visibility of activities within the rest of a network. Degree identifies entities who may be the most active in a network based on the number of direct links to other entities. And Eigenvector identifies entities who potentially have a key position in a network because of their direct connections to or relationships with other key people. As we look at the results from each of the centrality measures, we can see that the results help to confirm David G and George M as key individuals within this network as we expected. We can also use the conditional formatting functionality in Analyst Notebook to visualize these results on the chart. This helps to clearly identify the key individuals within our network. If we look at the results, in particular the degree and eigenvector centrality measures, we can see that an unknown contact that is ranked highly for both. This potentially indicates an individual who is highly active in the network, but is also connected to other key individuals within the network. We can now show the list of other individuals that our unknown contact is connected with using the list link items option in Analyst Notebook. We now see that our unknown contact is directly linked with both David G and George M. We are now going to do some further analysis on the communications across our target network, leading up to and immediately following the car bombing which occurred on February 23rd. Using the histogram view in dynamic filtering, we will look at an overview of the communications across the time period of interest. We can now instantly see that the peak of communications was around the week of 8th to the 15th of February, a week or two prior to the bombing before communications drop away. We can now use the new heat matrix within Analyst Notebook to start to understand any patterns of the activity within the network. The heat matrix allows us to see the pattern of communications based against two properties, and in this case we are comparing activities across the whole time period against the day of week, and can see, for example, that the Monday, Tuesday in the time period of interest are the most active. There is also a decline in communications leading up to the bombing, and we will use the drill down capability within the histogram to analyze this more closely. We can now see that communications drop away completely after the car bombing, with just three communications on the day of the bombing and nothing thereafter. By drilling down further, we can identify the final calls made. Selecting these calls in the histogram highlights the calls of interest in our chart. We now see that one of the last calls made prior to the bombing is between David G and the unknown contact we identified with SNA in the previous chart. We can now surmise that this individual is the individual that David G was seen with in the CCTV image we saw earlier, and this was the call to arrange the meeting to swap the car. The dynamic filtering and heat matrix can also help us to analyze pattern of life. Here we will look at the communications of the unknown contact identified in our previous analysis. We will use the dynamic filtering and heat matrix to compare the data by hour of day and day of week. We can see very quickly that in this case, the individual is most active on Wednesdays between 5 and 6 p.m. and Thursdays between 10 and 11 p.m. When the unknown contact we identified was detained, he was found with two mobile phones. 
Information was extracted using a Celebrite UFED mobile phone forensics device. The UFED extracts vital data such as phone book, text messages, call logs and IMEI information. Analyst Notebook includes a rapid data import capability for Celebrite XML files and we will now import the Celebrite data from the two phones into Analyst Notebook. Now we have imported the data extracted from the mobiles, we will look to remove any duplicate contacts. We can easily perform this task using the Find Matching Entities function in Analyst Notebook. We have found a number of likely duplicate contacts between the two sets of mobile phone data, so we will now merge these together. Running a group layout, we can clearly see a number of common contacts between the two phones. We can now use the dynamic filtering to look at the calls made from these phones. Looking at all the calls and texts made, we can quickly see that there is only one number that has been called from both phones. We see that the contact number for this is 2018-488-552. If we now go back to the David G chart, we can see that this is a number associated with David G.